Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Christy from Station Stickers. Today we will be doing a plan with me um, for the week of August um, 16th in my hourly Erin Conjure Planner. And um, before we get started, be sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, if you are subscribed, hit the notification bell um, and um, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. So I'm going to go ahead here. Um, I'm doing this as a voiceover just so that I can get through everything pretty quickly. Um, I just put down the, the date strips as well as the bottom washi. Um, in case you haven't purchased from our newly reformatted kits, the washi is set up so that way um, it's um, cut up into different sections so you have a thin washi attached to it so you can put anywhere you'd like and there's also a um, extra strip on the side that you can use to stack your box on the sidebar. Um, I forgot to mention we are using kit 13 um, and I went ahead and just grabbed the sheets from the kit that I would use. Um, the weekend banner does have a strip of washi that covers that area um, perfectly and then our usual script sticker in the weekend um, font. Um, I realized that I took down the, um, the foiled option for that as well as the colorful option so I'll be adding those to the shop as well and yeah. Anyways, so back to building my sidebar. I usually like to track a few things here. I add them in later in the week, but pretty much errands and stuff for the shop that I have goals and deadlines that I would like to meet. And then I went ahead and just added um, habit trackers. Um, I don't have my date dots next to me as well as my header um, overlays, so I'll be adding those in later. Um, so I just didn't have them right next to me. Anyways, um, initially I was going to leave the April box at the top left so I knew which week I was in, but the full box was just too pretty to pass up, so I ended up just adding that in um, to that top left hand corner and I fit perfectly. So hopefully you like um, the format of me doing a voiceover rather than planning directly. Um, or talking directly when I plan. I realize I'm pretty slow when it comes to doing that and I tend to have to do one thing versus the other. Um, this way um, I can focus on planning um, and enjoying planning you know when I do and then doing a quick voiceover afterwards. Um, in case anyone's interested in like doing similar plan with me's and just trying to like do it on a budget in case you did not know I do plan on my plan with me's with my iPhone and then I have this app called splice I think I'll link it below um, and it's just a monthly fee um, I used to do everything on iMovie and it just took a lot of time um, so I film everything with the my phone upload it to the app it lets me cut up the app uh, my like um, stuff how do I say it? the f the like video footage I can take away the voice and then add my voice over and then like edit it it's actually what I'm using to make my reels and stuff so if you're interested in something like that um check out that app okay so going ahead and starting on Monday the 16th I will um have a dentist appointment in the morning um I think I'm gonna have my online redone possibly or just evaluated to see if not I have to get a crown so that's why I have a little panda being sad um because I will be having to drive out to Newport um which is about an hour from where I live so it's gonna be not a fun drive in the morning with traffic so my parents are gonna have to take um, my daughter to preschool on that day so Definitely not a good morning, but anyways, um, and then on Tuesday, I also have a doctor's appointment um, at around 9 o'clock that I have to go to after I drop my daughter off as well. So this week, um, in case you didn't notice, um, I'm trying to keep um, the same type of sticker for the same type of thing during the week. For example, doctor's appointments are just the fancy labels. I'm marking my, her, my daughter's classes that she has um, via virtual after school um, with the same type of box and then with the class sticker and a little panda on um, a laptop since everything's via Zoom. So um, after she finished classes, class from 8 to 1, um, she goes home and we have another virtual class for about 40 minutes um, on Monday, Tuesday, 
um, Wednesday as well. My parents do the class with her on Wednesday and on Thursday. Um, I used to try to mark in um, specific times when I plan this in my daily but because we're in the hourly I just mark it in it's nice because I just put it in that time slot of the day so I can sort of see how my days spread out and how many different things I have so I can go in later and sort of fill in like what I need to actually get done that day outside of you know those big things that can't be moved you know what I mean um so yeah um I also decided to mark on Monday it was my or it is going to be, since today is Sunday, um, it's going to be my uncle's birthday. Um, and then my niece's birthday is going to be on Wednesday. Um, I wanted to find a way to mark, um, to, I guess, note this in my planner, like, um, consistently. So I did um, realize I had the little panda stickers holding a cake, um, as well as a script um, with the word birthday on it. Um, I think we have the ones that say happy birthday in the shop. If it doesn't have the birthday ones there, I'll be adding those in. Um, I realized that if you just put it at the top of the box and the little panda character at the side, you can just put the name on the right hand side. So I'll probably be doing this for future birthdays and, and putting it at the end of the day. So that way I remember by the end of the day to wish that person a happy birthday since I tend to be very forgetful when it comes to um, birthdays or just dates and stuff like that, which is why I have a planner to keep everything written down or else I tend to forget. But yeah, so I realized a lot of the panda characters are not in the shop yet. I apologize for that. I will be adding them to the shop as soon as I can with um, fall colorways. Um, I realize a lot of the panda characters are like with the pink um, headband or pink, you know, colorway. Um, but I wanted to come out with like a fall colorway and a winter colorway for some things. So those will be added to the shop soon. And in case you didn't know, um, the character stickers are on premium matte rather than on removable matte. So um, I just like the print quality on premium matte much better. Anyways, back to the plan with me. I went ahead and marked um, my work days um, when I have to go into work, um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, Wednesday and Thursday will be dropping off my daughter at preschool and then heading to work. And then on Friday... I do have a meeting to start the day, so once I drop my daughter off, I'll be going into meetings. Um, it's going to be via Teams, in case you guys know about that as well, like the app. Um, so I'll be doing that on Friday as well as on Saturday. Um, and yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for my meetings this weekend, or this week. Um, and then I went ahead and marked the Saturday. We are having a new release. Um, it's going to be all the kits remaining for October, um, maybe a little bit of a September kits as well since I didn't finish out September kits yet. So we'll at least have a few kits for October for you to pick from as well as September. And then next month we're going to be moving straight into November. So I'm going to try to stay um, two or three months ahead when it comes to kits so that way you have ample time to get your kits. Usually we're pretty quick when it comes to shipping everything out um, within a week usually. Sometimes if there's a lot of orders, it does become two weeks. Um, but the way we have changed our um, processing and order style, it has improved a lot faster. So anyways, um, I did decide to meal prep. It's not going to be on this spread. I put it into my daily spread. For the week um, but I went ahead and marked in a Sam's Club pickup on Monday since I did put in an order for that and then um, I don't know what time um, I marked actually I think I it was supposed to be at 12 um, before picking up my daughter um, so I just left that there I'll probably put in the time frame exact time later but anyways so moving on to Sunday I do have, um, that's when we take our trash out because the trash does come Monday morning. Um, so at the end of the day, we always take out the trash. I do have a trash day script sticker and then a little panda holding a trash can as well. Um, let's see what else I had to do this week. So when it comes to most of my appointments, I think I have everything set out. I just wanted to put generalized tasks that I want to do um, on days where I'm going to be at home and not at work. Um, for example, clean the house. Um, I usually like to vacuum, um, like clean all the toilets and tables and desks and like um, do all the like sheets and stuff on 
a day where I'm just at home and I can just start everything as soon as the day starts. Um, and then um, sometimes I split it up depending on my week. For example, this week I'm going to be at the doctor on Tuesday. So I did split up the laundry to be on Friday and then on Tuesday most of the um, cleaning will happen. And then um, since we do have the new releases coming on Saturday, I'm going to try to do as much of the design work I, as I can um, on Tuesday. And then um, I'll be sending an email out probably on Thursday with a list of all the new patterns and stuff. Hopefully you find something you like that um, you plan to use in your hourly or your daily planner or your monthly. I'm going to try to finish up my the A5 monthly um, layout. Um, I have the base of it done. I just want to get the formatting like perfect. Um, so that's coming on Saturday as well. Um, and then a bunch of functional stuff as well if I have time. Um, but I think that's pretty much it when it comes to the design work that I have set. Um, I just put down recently the sticker for Thursday. I will be doing an extra shift um, after work from five to seven. So I just marked that down. And then um, I realized that I needed to mark all my workouts for this week. Um, I am on week, I think it's week seven. Um, sorry, no. Um, it's ending week seven, going to week eight um, for my workouts. Um, although I lost about I, almost 15 pounds, the goal is to lose about 20 before my birthday in September. So try to be consistent and mark my workouts um, four days a week, um, as well as like, be more conscious about what I'm eating. So um, in case you didn't notice us not being as active on social media um, all the time, it's because I'm trying to do more just, you know, being very mindful of what I'm doing as well as, you know, focusing more on diet and exercise and just, you know, being present in the moment. So I'm trying to, you know, do as many plans with me as, plan with me as, as possible, but also still balancing that other aspect um, since I sort of used to put it on the back burner. Um, but, you know, the goal this year was to focus on that. And so yeah, anyways, so um, I did have some space and I wanted to put down the full boxes just to um, fill out the week a little bit more. It's just really pretty, so um, I just had to use these um, at least two or three boxes. So I put those in in the time frame when I do work. So, and then I decided to put on Saturday since I probably won't be doing too much Saturday afternoon. And then um, I forgot to mark in, I think, movie night. Um, we tend to try to watch something fun um, on Friday, so I'll probably add that in later. And then I went ahead and add some foil deco there. Um, I'm trying to add more like flourishes and fl flowers and decos and different things. Since we're not foiling our kits anymore, um, you can pick up a sheet with just a bunch of deco and then just add it to your kit. So that's why you have some foil, but not too much. And then it's just whatever, you know, works best for you. So... I'm going to be doing my best to expand that part of the shop as well and just slowly add little by little. So I think this is most of the um, the week set up. I put the errands and a shop sticker down and I think that's pretty much it. I'll add the dates later and then a few other things. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and um, I will see you guys next time when we do another plan with me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!